So uh, I wanted to give you a chance to also unpack and then to Charlie to comment as well on realism, which is the, the, the one of the three that you have not defined here. Yeah, well, realism, which I've done most of my work on o over the course of my lifetime, is an ism that focuses on states, states are the principal actor in the realist story, and the key assumption, as I'm sure almost all of you know, is that those states operate in an anarchic system, which means there's no higher authority above them. And for that reason, states pay great attention to the balance of power. Realism is an, it's an ideology or it's a theory that says that the domestic structure doesn't matter much at all. In other words, a good liberal would say whether or not a state is a liberal democracy matters greatly. And of course, that's why liberal hegemony is all about promoting liberalism across the planet. A realist would say that states are basically black boxes, right? What kind of political system they have doesn't matter that much. What really matters the most is the balance of power. Charlie, I was going to give you an opportunity to uh, uh, take a moment. Your views on realism are slightly different from John, so can you take a moment to highlight that? Yeah, just briefly. So within structural realism, uh, which is the type of realism that focuses on anarchy, there is a deep divide um, between people who think that the international system itself um, basically drives states into competition, not always, but usually, and then a different group of, of analysts, and I would put myself in that category of being defensive realists that say under certain conditions, competition between states is not the best way for them to achieve their goals and they can cooperate. And at the core of this is the security dilemma, which is the question of whether when you, co -op, when you compete or when you try to pursue security, whether you make your adversary more insecure or not, and that can vary. Um, the key difference between offensive and defensive realism, I think if you had to boil it down to one thing, is that offensive realists say you should only focus on the balance of power and therefore, in a sense, you need to assume the worst about your adversary. It doesn't matter whether your, what your adversary's goals might be. The adversary could eliminate you from the system, so you assume the worst. And defensive realists on the flip side say, no, if you assume the worst, you may actually end up provoking your adversary, making your adversary more insecure, and in turn, making yourself more insecure. And so these are two different views. They, they accept the basic assumptions of realism hold. Anarchy, states as rational actors, unitary actors, black boxing. But the question is when you look out at the international system, do you assume the worst or not? And it can lead you to very different conclusions, both about competition and cooperation, but also closely related about the importance of the security dilemma.